How's it going guys? My name is Jacker and welcome to today's video. If you're familiar with my channel, then you probably know I mainly stick with Save the World content, but due to popular demand today, we will be doing a Battle Royale video. And so without further ado, here is five things that Battle Royale needs that Save the World already has. At number five, we have a whole set, a whole class of weapons energy weapons. These have existed all the way back from the release of the game in July of 2017, but never quite actually made their way to Battle Royale. We did at one point see the Zaptron very briefly, but that was quickly taken out of the game after people realized how OP it was. And there's a lot of them too. Not only do we have the Zaptron, we have the Death Ray, the Ray Gun, the Space Pistol, the Zap Zap. All of the holiday event items were energy weapons, and that is just to name a few. So there's all these weapons in Fortnite already, but they're not in Battle Royale. And yes, when the Zaptron was in Battle Royale, it was very OP. But when you go over to Save the World, all of the energy weapons are just as good as any other gun. They're typically not going to be any better than any other weapon. So hey, how about we add some of these weapons to Battle Royale? I think that'd be really cool. And then at number two, we have something that is going to be somewhat controversial, and if implemented incorrectly, could really mess up the game in my opinion. But that is the addition of classes to Battle Royale. In Save the World, you can choose between a soldier, a ninja, a constructor, or an outlander each of them having different skill sets, different perks, all of these different things. And I'm not saying that we need to bring over the classes from Save the World to Battle Royale. In fact, I think that'd be a really bad idea. Right, Paladins? Cough, cough, wink, wink. But instead, let's be able to choose our character without having to spend V-Bucks and give these characters some unique characteristics. Let's just say these soldiers are slightly better with assault rifles. Maybe they do 5% more damage, are slightly more accurate, but then are worse with snipers. They do less damage with snipers and are less accurate with snipers. I don't know, but it would be really cool if you could kind of choose your class, at least at least make it so you could choose your character. Give them ever so slightly buffs and make them ever so slightly different. But hey, that's just my opinion. Moving on to number three, and number three is gonna be somewhat similar to number five. We have melee weapons. Why are there not melee weapons in the game? Because again, we already have a ton of melee weapons in Save the World. And I'm not saying that we need these massive axes or hammers or anything like that. Heck, we don't even need a flaming sword. All I want is a dang crowbar named Mr. Red. But we have all of these melee weapons that are in the game files already. Why not add them? It's not like they're very good. Just give us something that's slightly better than the pickaxe. I mean, I honestly see no way that this could hurt the game. But then that brings me to number two. I think we should have a little bit more crafting in the game. Again, this is another one of those things that if implemented too heavily into the game could definitely break the game. So it's an absolute no to crafting weapons or stuff like that. All I think we should be able to do is craft maybe some ammo, maybe upgrade your walls a little bit. These are all just kind of minor things that add a little bit of depth to the game. But then that brings us to to number one on the list, nothing serious here, just a weapon I think that they should add to the game. The Tiny Instruments of Death. Not a very useful weapon to use in Save the World, but a very fun weapon to use nonetheless. I mean, who doesn't want to be able to control their own rockets? That's pretty cool. But anyway guys, that was my list of five things Battle Royale needs that Save the World already has. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys disagree with me? Let me know down in the comments below. The purpose of this video was to create a discussion about the game, so I'm interested to hear what you guys think should be added, and I'm sure a lot of people are actually going to disagree with several of the things I put on this list. But if you do, let me know down below. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.